Leo. Okay. And Leo National Will. Cop Watch. Okay. And Will. Will. Okay, great. Can you guys tell me um, just briefly what's you, uh, first of all tell me what is Cop Watch just for people who may not be familiar? Cop Watch is a grassroots organization organization dedicated to protecting your civil rights and looking for police accountability. We do Cop Watch patrols. We also do know your rights training for citizens and for students. Okay. And what's been what's been going on in Denver? I mean, what what have what have you guys been observing? Uh, let's see. Mostly, we uh, attend cases where the police are, are in 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 the wrong. Basically, uh, we follow up on these cases, and we do the patrols, and we basically watch the police, uh -huh. make sure they follow protocol, make sure they don't they don't violate your rights, make sure they don't abuse you. Uh -huh. uh, do you know about how many uh, police are in Denver right now for this Democratic <laughs> National Convention? Thousands. Thousands. I was out last night, and I, I say at least one fifth of the other people I saw were police. Uh huh. Uh huh. A lot, lot of undercover, a lot of uh, CIA, FBI, uh, uh -huh. Secret Service stuff like that. Do you know how many security agencies are in Denver right now, like from mm -hmm. Homeland Security? No, I don't. Okay. But uh, I did speak with some security agents Friday that came to my house. Was uh -huh. that Saturday? Saturday. Homeland Security. Because I'm cop watch and I attend community meetings, they were interested in what's going on with these meetings. Uh huh. And what what have you uh, have you been any protests so far? What's how have the police been treating protesters? What have you been seeing? Right now, we usually do patrols. We're getting here kind of late for the protests because we had some issues this morning. Uh huh. But we're gonna go out and do some patrols now. Okay. Have you been hearing any stories about, you know, treatment uh, of protesters? No, Is Denver bad, yeah. good, that sort of thing? Denver's not a good place uh -huh. uh, for citizens. The way the law is, is it's basically geared that if you're in a situation, an incident with Denver police, uh, the rules and laws are designed to protect the police, leaving you victimized. Uh -huh. And if you guys, if you guys witness anything in Denver, like any kind of abuse by the police, what do you do? Like, what's your function? We record it, and then we bring it to the attorney's attention. Uh huh. And has this worked in the past? Have you? It's worked in the past. However, like I said, the policies of the police department protect the police department to the max. They dominate a lot of the police, so you can't file charges on them. Mm -hmm. uh, things like that. Mm -hmm. They uh, change rules as they realize that they get in trouble with stuff, so then they change rules to accommodate them. Mm -hmm. And your average protester, what would what kind of what would they encounter with the police right now? Like, are the police how, how are they geared up? You know, with that that sort of thing. Uh, Right now, it's just mostly citizens concerned and concerned uh, people, basically. Uh -huh. uh, right now, we don't know if there's anything going on as far as the uh, rallies. Yeah. Uh, we do attend other rallies, Martin Luther King, uh, uh -huh. private uh, private community uh, events and stuff okay. like that. Great. And uh, uh, if people want to find out more about uh, Cop Watch, where can they go on the internet? Or uh, on know? the internet, probably a good place to go is copwatch.com. Uh -huh. If you're in Denver, you can call us at 303-206-2681. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. All right, thank you.